Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got another fun maths problem for you. Um, it's sort of to do with the XY plane and drawing some straight lines and colouring the different regions in a certain way. Let me describe it first. We have a natural number N and we want to draw N distinct straight lines on the XY plane and that will partition the XY plane into different regions. We want to prove that using only two colours, and in this case I'm just going to consider black and white, it doesn't really matter what the colours are, just two colours, black and white, uh, we can colour each region so that adjacent regions have different colours. Okay, so I've drawn a little example on here. This is the case n equals 4, so we've got one straight line there, one straight line there, one straight line there, and one straight line there. And you can see the bits that I've shaded black, or well, you can see the different regions firstly, and these are the different region, regions that I've shaded in black, and you can see that the remaining regions I've, I've left white, and you can see that no two adjacent re regions have the same colour. Okay, so this one and this one, for example, are adjacent, but they have different colours. Um, but if it touches at a diagonal, we don't consider them adjacent. So this is fine, for example. Uh, these two have the same colour, but they only touch at a diagonal, so that's fine. So this is a good example of the case n equals 4, but we want to prove that it holds for any natural number n, but also any sort of configuration of the n straight uh, N distinct straight lines. Okay, so if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go. Your give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to get stuck into a solution. Okay, so before I get into a solution, perhaps you've seen something similar or something like this, and it's called the four color map theorem. So this theorem says that if you take any map, so for example, look at a map of uh, the world, for example, or the map of, say, the United States or something, where there's clearly uh, distinct regions. Uh, so if it was a map of the world, there'd be, like, countries, for example. If it was a map of the US, it could be the different states. Okay? Um, and you can always colour the map in such a way um, so that adjacent countries have different colours, and the least number of colours you can use is four, i.e., so if you have four different colours, you can colour the, any map on the 2D plane, uh, in such a way so that adjacent countries or adjacent states or whatever have distinct colours. Okay, this is sort of a simpler case because we're only considering straight lines, uh, but I encourage you to sort of look at the difference. The proof for the four colour map theorem, though, of course, is a lot more complex and it took a long, a lot long time, a lot long, a lot long time, a lot longer to prove. Uh, but this one I can fit in a short video for this particular case where we're looking at just straight lines, so when all of our regions are defined by these straight lines on the plane. Okay, so the way I'm going to prove this is by induction. So let's just look at the base case where n equals 1. This is not too difficult. Um, so the base case... n equals 1. So we just have one uh, straight line uh, cutting our plane. Well, then let's just draw it on. And it's not too difficult to see. We can just shade this side of the line in black. Okay, and leave this side white. And we're done, okay? Because there's only sort of two countries, two different states, this one and this one. So we just have one of them one colour and one of them the other. Of course, we've done this side black and this side white. Doesn't matter. Okay, now what we're going to do is assume that it holds for n equals k, i.e. we can do it in the case when we've got k straight lines, and then we'll look at the case k plus 1. Okay, so as I said, what we're going to do is assume that it holds for n equals k, i.e. if we take any k uh, straight lines on the... Uh, distinct straight lines on the xy plane, we can always colour them in the sort of desired way. Now we're going to look at the case n equals k plus 1. So I've sort of drawn on uh, a little example. So suppose this is k plus 1 distinct lines. What we're going to do is just take one of these lines and get rid of it sort of partially. So I'm going to use this line here. So we've got k plus 1 lines on uh, our diagram here, and I'm just going to get rid of this sort of partially, so just turn it into a dotted line. Okay? Like so, just for now, and then we'll add it in in just a second. So the reason it's dotted is just so we know where it was. Now, if we sort of ignore this line, which I've dotted out for now, we've got now a diagram with k lines, k distinct straight lines on the xy plane. And by our assumption, there's some nice way we can colour that uh, so that ad adjacent countries have different colours. Okay, so in this case, I don't know, I could have this country here black. Um, this one here, say black. This one here black, this one here black. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult with the uh, dotted line, sort of half on, half off. Uh, this one here black, and I think that's it. Yeah, so the remaining ones would be white. 
Okay? Now remember we've got this dotted line, so what we're going to now do is introduce this dotted line and keep everything to the left the same. So everything to the left of this line, keep it as is, but everything to the right of the line, we're going to invert. So if it's on the right of the line, if it's black, we're now going to turn it into white, and if it's white, we're now going to turn it into black. And you can see that this is going to uh, obtain a shading, a sort of colouring with the desired properties. Okay, so we're going to add back this, add this line back in, like so. Now everything to the right of the line, we're going to invert. So this thing region here, perhaps I didn't shade it in well, but before it was like this. So this region here is black. Now I'm going to turn it into white. So let's get rid of this. This region here to the right of this line was white, so now we're going to have it black. Okay, this region here to the right of the line was black, now we're going to make it white, so let's get rid of that. Same with this one here. Okay, we've got a small region here which was white, let's make that black now. Okay, this region here was white, so let's make this black. And this was black, so let's make this one white. Hopefully it's made, it's made sense what I'm doing. Okay, so I hope this diagram helps to convince you that it does also hold in the case m equals k plus 1. So all you're doing is you're taking the line that you're adding in, and everything to the left you're keeping the same, and everything to the right of that line you're inverting. And then, yeah, it's not too difficult to argue that then you have a, uh, uh, a colouring of the desired properties. And that's the proof complete, I guess. So it's sort of a proof by vis visualisation. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you wanted to argue it, it sort of very rigorously, perhaps you can. But uh, the aim of this video is just to convince yourself. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the proof by induction done. I hope you have enjoyed this problem uh, and this video as well. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't heard of the four colour map theorem or you don't know a lot about it, I do encourage you to research it. It's a pretty cool theorem uh, and it has lots of ties with graph theory, which I really enjoy studying. It's a good subject, it's a really fun subject. Um, but yeah, that's my waffling done. I uh, will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.